What is up, people of Earth and beyond? Kason is here, and today we have a brand new Call of Duty gameplay for you. Today we have a domination game on Carrier. I'm using the Type 25 Autumn Camo with the red dot, and uh, score isn't that good. You get a little bit over 2 KD, but uh, it's a great game, objective-wise, uh, teamwork-wise. So it's a pretty long gameplay too, because I'm going to be talking for a while. Um, today we just have a good old-fashioned commentary, and I'm going to be recapping my Familia Vacacion uh, with the fam, my sister, my mom, my dad. We went to the Bahamas and uh, Atlantis Resort in the Bahamas. A lot of fun. We did so many activities. We It was a good bonding thing for a family, as most vacations are. So once we, I got the gameplay out of the way, now let's get started. So we left... F uh, Sunday morning, I, me, my sister, and my whole family had to wake up at 4 o'clock to get to the Philadelphia International Airport. That's We either go to that in Newark, depending on the best flight times, uh, Newark, New Jersey. So we get there, and uh, we get up, and it's, uh, we actually woke up an hour hour before we should have, so we were just kind of waiting around out of croissant. Yeah, I love croissants. They're really good. Uh, getting off topic, sorry. So we get in our car and we go to the airport and surprisingly enough there were well not really surprisingly it's spring spring break obviously there's gonna be a lot of people but uh there were an immense amount of people like uh the security line there were one security there was like a whole clump of people in one security line and then they had another people just waiting to get in line in like a separate line that so many people were going um they did this really weird thing where they had kids on one side and like the adults on the other. I don't know, it was kind of weird, because it, like, split families up, and my, we just stayed with our parents, that so was kind of weird. But I actually did see someone I know at the... Actually, two people. I saw two people I know at the, uh, airport. Uh, I won't say their names, but, uh, yeah, so that was cool seeing other people I knew. Uh, so, we got into security, you know, same old, same old, take off your shoes, all your belongings, um, belts, any medals. So, we get through security, and then, uh, we go to the terminal and when we get there oh my gosh yes there's these i guess high schoolers going on vacation as well to okay well we don't have a direct flight our thing goes from philadelphia to charlotte and then from charlotte it goes to uh nassau bahamas which is uh the a place in the bahamas so i get there and in the terminal waiting are these like stereotypical high school D-bags like they're really tan and they have tank tops on and the girls are wearing short shorts and they look like whores and just stereotypical you know high school people trying to have a good time and um <coughs> I told my mom cause um on the flight we were all split up at different areas around the plane uh me and my sister were like somewhere towards the front me and my mom were in the back it was booked flight and I'm like mom watch me be right next to one of these college D-bags and she's like oh you don't know them like knowing my luck in Madden yeah I'm bringing up Madden uh I'm probably gonna get it and lo and behold I am right in the middle between this douchebag guy and this, like, uh, bleach blonde person, uh, his, his, his friend, and I'm right in the middle of them. So, I just put in my music, but they were throughout the whole flight. It was like an hour flight, not that long, I know, to Charlotte. And all, oh my god, they were so loud and obnoxious. They kept cursing and saying, oh, what are we going to do in the Bahamas? And then when I heard them say that what they're, what they're going to do at the Bahamas, I'm like, no. Please don't let them be on the same flight as us when we go to, uh, when we go to the Bahamas from Charlotte. So, what they're talking about, they're talking about drugs and alcohol. Oh, I'm going to have so many drinks, oh my god. I'm going to be hit, hitting it. And, ah, uh, God, it was just really annoying. All their friends were around me. My sister had the same thing. Uh, high school people all around them. Uh, I really don't want to be like that when I'm a senior, so. Just to let you guys know, I'm a freshman. Uh, so, <clears throat> we get to Charlotte. It's about, uh, let's see, a flight left at, like, 7, 8-ish. I think it was, like, 10 or 11 uh, when our flight next took off to Nassau. Oh, yeah, this is a good thing to note. In Charlotte, they have this, like, 
we have Chick-fil-A here. And there they have this chicken place called, uh, uh, what was it called? Um, Cala, Calabaloo, something weird like that. And, um, it was really good, surprisingly. It was, like, fast. It was, like, the Charlotte version of, like, I just said, Chick-fil-A. And it was really good, surprisingly. Uh, just a little note on the side. So, to Nassau, <coughs> uh, once again, my whole family is split up on the plane, um, in different places, and there's the same col- no, sorry, not college, high school, D-bags there again, so I'm like, Mom, watch me, I'm gonna be in between them again. So, we get on the plane, and I'm not, I'm with actually sitting with my sister, cause, um, one of the high school people uh, took my seat. He said, you can sit in my seat. So I'm like, okay. But surprisingly, that seat was right next to my sister. But unfortunately for my mom, she was in front of the high school people. And uh, I just put my music in, and it was like a two-and-a-half-hour flight. Uh, just a little note. Well, what, while we were flying to the Bahamas, the water we passed was, like, gorgeous. It was um, really clear blue water, uh, just like in the commercials. You could see, like, the coral. It's like a darkish thing under the water. Some little kids were like, oh, I see whales. Oh, my God. It's just the waves. Ugh. Yeah, it was kind of annoying, too. But, uh, yeah, then my mom told me that the, college, the high school people were now talking about how much sex they were going to get. So, you know, good for them. Get it in. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, other than that, <clears throat> it was a pretty normal flight. Uh, put on one of my playlists of my favorite songs and just listen to it. But we finally get off the plane, and we have to go through customs. Yeah, if you don't know, that's what you have to do if you get in the, if you go to another place besides your home country. And the line is really long. Oh, my gosh. The, the airport has no air conditioning. It's like 80, 90-something out, and it's so hot in there. I'm sweating. You know, I'm sweating, people around me are sweating. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're waiting in this long line where there's like three, like three, um, what is it called? Like, ki no, I'm just going to say kiosks. Kiosks, kiosks open to check in and let them ask you the questions. And we have like a couple hundred people in front of us, so we're going so slow. We're waiting there. I think we were waiting there for either an hour and a half or an hour and a half or like two hours it took forever so after they ask us a few questions um like uh why are you here is it for pleasure for business uh if you're staying at like a resort you know what hotel and we were like oh atlantis the reef that's a hotel we're staying at the reef they have the royal towers the reef the coral uh the cove and a few other little ones but uh back on topic so we get through that. I'm like, finally, smooth sailing. We just have to get our luggage from the luggage drop thing, and, you know, we'll be on our way. But, apparently, there's a second customs. Yes. Another custom, just to see what was in your bag, and if you bought any food or drinks that you weren't supposed to have. So, we have to wait in the line again. For a really long time, just to get them to check our luggage, which we had nothing bad inside. So we're waiting, and it took a really while. I was just thinking about it. It was, it was awful. And it was just, I want to remind you, it's still like 90 out. Really hot. Because in PA, it's really cold right now. It's starting to warm up. but uh, So after a while, we just uh, get through that. Um, and we had to take a bus to uh, the Atlantis Resort. Uh, I believe it was called Majestic Tours. Uh, you pay... Well, you give them a tip at the end. But... Uh, it's the car ride there it took a little bit it's like 25 to 30 minutes but you drive through it, uh the bahamas certain you know poor areas and then you go through this really rich part which had like mansions and i'm guessing people's like summer houses but um the impoverished area the po sorry the poverty stricken area was really um <clears throat> kind of like it really shows you how lucky we are even our bad parts of the U.S., like, they're bad, but nowhere as bad as this. They were, like, huts and, like, broken-down cement houses and just people living on the streets. It was awful. I really did feel bad for them. But, um, as we were passing that, there were beaches all around the Bahamas, all around the, uh, roads, like, because the road is there, and then right next to the road are, like, some beaches. And the floor and the water, just like when we were going overhead in the plane, was absolutely beautiful. Uh, you could, there were, like, little kids playing it, playing in it with the families. It was 
I was like, hey, we get to do this. This is going to be really fun. So we finally get to the resort after a while, and we, we're checking into the reef. And uh, I had no idea what a hotel room was going to look like. From the other hotels we've stayed in in America, they've just been like, <clears throat> just like a room with like a bathroom and like a bed and a sofa bed. But this one was great. It was, um, we went up there, and there were three rooms. There's a middle room that had a couch bed, a giant TV, a kitchen, and a bar. And then there was one that had a, a two bedroom, two separate bedrooms. And I'll get to that in the next commentary. Uh, this is time is running up, and I'll get part two out later. I'll see you guys later. See you later.